I spent 50 hours designing this. Even with max netherite and then breaking three shield, you die in one shot. Here's how I made it. Minecraft railguns are possible because arrow damage is calculated based on its speed. So a TNT blast making an arrow faster also makes it more deadly. My initial designs were super inconsistent in damage, so I scrapped them and started with the best railgun currently out there. It's amazing. But the problem is that it's overkill and it only shoots straight ahead. So I tested how much TNT TNT you really need for it to be deadly to a player. And that number is 48. So redesigning it myself, I came up with this smaller, but much uglier version. Achieving spread was as easy as moving the arrow dispenser higher, so the arrows spread out more on the soul sand. I thought I was literally done with the project, but when testing it, I realized it won't consistently kill you if you're on the left side of the railgun. I knew it had something to do with the ladder hitbox partially obscuring the blast, but I need some sort of block to contain the TNT. It took hours to realize I can just replace the ladder with a trap door. Problem solved. However, when testing, I found that the machine is still inconsistent. I thought the issue was that the TNT was not aligning fast enough, so I built a single drop shoot version, shrinking the design even more. Beautiful. Turns out this was not the issue. The only other possible factor in making the arrow damage inconsistent is the arrow alignment. If the arrow is on the front end of the block when hit by the TNT blast, it will not kill a max player. Unlike an arrow placed closer to the TNT blast. The solution then is to have all the arrows align on the side with the TNT using a piston. I came up with a few techniques for that to work but they all have their own shortcoming. The design I settled on is where arrows are shot into glass or walls, and then you retract those blocks so the arrows drop neatly in a row. It's the most compact, scalable design I came up with. The second prototype using this arrow alignment system is thankfully 100% effective at killing the player and made the contraption even cheaper than before. At this point, I could have said it's good enough, but it's not gonna kill the player with a shield.